Chapter 51 Act 2 Epilogue Dempress walked through one of the hive's main entrances, stopping briefly to examine the guards standing there. As always, they were attentive, the hive mind making them completely loyal and the perfect beings to do her bidding. But they would be no match for the alicorns, but sending them away would ultimately be fruitless and even tip off her coming guests. Don't let anything through, the empress commanded verbally to the guards, adding a message to the others through the hive mind. The alicorns will be coming, trust in that. Do what you can. The guards did not respond to the empress, but she knew that they had listened and would obey. It was what they were for, after all. The empress continued onwards, walking once more through the hive she called home, what had been the center of all changeling civilization even during her absence. That fact did please her a little. She wouldn't have it be anywhere else, even if not all the memories were pleasant ones. She stopped at a junction, staring down one of the hallways as she imagined the sounds of four tiny hole-ridden hooves pattering down them in a hurry. Hooves that had dominated those halls so very long ago. Shaking off the needless nostalgia, the Empress moved on forwards once more. She passed no more of her drones, all too busy awaiting the arrival of her foes. The Empress couldn't help but chuckle at the thought of the coming battle. Those thoughts brought her back to the tiny hooves, and truly how long ago that was. But how even then the seed was planted, her destiny all but written in the stars. What had been done to her before she even knew the world, and what it meant even if the princesses were to fatally strike at her. She arrived in the throne room and took her seat, sitting tall and resolute in the face of the coming struggle. For the alicorns knew nothing about what she truly was, and what she transcended. They could break her, but she was fully confident they could not destroy her. She was natural order incarnate, and she would survive. So let them come, Immortalis spoke out to the empty chamber, bringing a hoof up, which lightly crackled with the black and green magical energies within her blood. And let them see. 